Hey guys, Christy here from DeSilva Life and welcome back to our channel. Our mission at DeSilva Life is to help business owners to set up the systems they need to get organized and scale and grow their business with ease. Something that's super important as you are growing and scaling any company is obviously having your team communication on lock. Our top two tools that we use to do this are ClickUp, and Slack. They have two very unique purposes, but we use both of them to collaborate and communicate about anything going on within DeSilva Life. So in this video, I want to show you some ways that you can integrate Slack and ClickUp and our best practices when it comes to keeping the two combined yet separate. I also want to talk about a couple other Click apps and integrations that could be helpful for you as you are integrating and connecting all of your tools together. All right, let's dive in. So first thing I want to do in this video is actually go through what is the difference between click apps and integrations and just show you a few of my favorite click apps. So when you come into your settings section, you're going to see both on the left side, click apps and then integrations. So going through click apps, these are just native to click up different settings that you could turn on to really take your click up to the next level. Now you can keep Keep things off as well if you want to keep it more simplified, but let's actually just walk through some of these and what they actually are. So automations, this is where you can really take your click up to the next level by having automations. For example, when a status changes, maybe it reassigns a person or changes a due date, um, putting on screen recording. So ClickUp has a native screen recorder that you can actually replace Loom if you use the screen recording in ClickUp. Collaborative editing, commenting reactions, dashboards are the bomb, custom fields. You can go through these, email, in-app, docs, home, um, and really decide which ones you want to turn on. What I will say is if you turn all of them on, it's not going to stop you from doing anything, but you don't necessarily have to use that function. For example, like Pulse is really cool to see who's online or how many people were online during certain hours of the day, but you don't ever have to look in there. It'll just be an option if you want to see that in the future. Um, relationships, rescheduling dependencies. So take some time and go through this on your end and see, you know, just read each of these little bubbles. You could also learn more and see more about that specific click app. But again, these are really just functionalities within click app that you could turn on to make it a little bit more robust. So what are the difference between click apps then and integrations? Click apps are natively in the app where integrations are integrating an outside application like Slack, HubSpot, Zoom, um, custom apps, email, Google Hangouts, etc. cetera. Um, so this video, I actually want to hone in on the Slack integration because this is something we get questions about often, but you can also use Zapier to connect so many apps to your ClickUp to create this seamless integration. For example, maybe a client books in your CRM and you want that to then create a task in your ClickUp or create a list template in your ClickUp. This is a really great option through Zapier. So in here, you can click on to here and click in these different things. It's a really quick process to be able to just connect these apps. So if you see Slack, um, mine was here integrated already, but if you see that there's a button to integrate it, it's just going to go through the process of having you log into Slack and then give ClickUp permissions to have access to Slack and vice versa. So here you could see the different things that Slack that you could do with this ClickUp and Slack integration. I know with the rollout of ClickUp 3.0 coming that there may be even more advanced options, but in this video today with what we have, I want to go through what 
is currently available. So you can create tasks in Slack by using the command slash click up new. You can create tasks in comments from Slack messages. You can unfurl click up tasks in Slack, and then you could customize notifications to send to Slack. So basically what's happening is we use both Slack and ClickUp at DeSilva Life. We use them for very specific things. Running through that really quickly. We use Slack for individual team member chats for more like mass communication channels like hashtag marketing, hashtag system school. Um, and these are where our team will go to talk about a specific subject. Whereas in ClickUp, we keep all communication about a specific task within that task in the comments thread itself. So everyone always knows where to go when they're regarding and talking about a task or just something in general. Now, another thing we may do sometimes is if I create a task, for example, and I'll show you a live example of this, um, and it's kind of urgent and I want to send it to a team member, I'll go ahead and copy the link of that task and throw it in Slack so then they could just click and open it right away. Okay. So with that, let's dive in to the Slack and ClickUp integration. So I have this test list here in ClickUp, right? So I'm going to open up my Slack. You'll see the different channels I have here. So if you click the forward slash ClickUp new, it's then going to, if you send this, be like, okay, what do you need to do here? From here, you can create a task. And then in here, you can search a list, right? Like I could search my test list and then go through the process of creating what is that task name, description, assignees, due date, priority, etc. cetera. Um, but something else you could do is where this is really helpful is say I send a message to Jefferson saying, let's get our Q2 prep meeting on the books. Instead of going into ClickUp and creating a task to plan for the Q2 meeting, I can actually just go hover over this message and click the three dots and click click create task. So from here, then I'll do test list, click on here. Then you can see this is going to bring you to the description here. I'm going to put prep for Q2 meeting, add assignees, me and Jefferson, add a due date for this. Let's say we'll do it tomorrow. What's the priority? We'll mark it as high and then click create. Now you can see in this thread that the task has been created and it also gives the link to that task. So if I click on here, It's going to bring me right to that new task that was just created. And it's going to say from Christy via Slack message, this was the exact message. It brings into the description, which is really cool. And if I click on it, it'll also bring me back to that Slack. See, it just highlighted it there. So super cool things you could do here. Basically, you know, bringing in those conversations. Let me refresh this list and you'll see this task pop up here. So now you can see prep for Q2 meeting, due tomorrow, status, me and Jeff, et cetera. So without even leaving Slack, I was able to create that task. So what are the other things you can do? You can also attach a comment. So you can search by the task name or ID. So let's say prep for Q2 meeting. So you can see these here, or if you have the task open, you can always right click on a task and copy ID, and then just paste that right into there. And then there it is. So prep for Q2 meeting, then you can, if you want to add an assignee to the comment to utilize assigned comments, you could also do that. And then if I click add, it's now gonna bring it right into this task as a comment. So keeping the people that are assigned to this task up to date on different things that may be happening within Slack. 
And then lastly, the third thing is you can save this to the notepad. And so the new na note name would be Slack message, or you can say Q2 meeting prep, um, and then put what you want in that content in that note, right? Once you add it there, then you'll find it in your notepad here. And when you click that open, this will be at the bottom. I just dragged it to the top and then you could see in here from Slack. Again, it's always going to link that Slack message um, and then say what it was or whatever you put in that description section to bring into the notepad. So those are a few ways to directly, um, you know, bring in things from Slack into ClickUp in this seamless integration. And then the one last thing I wanted to show you is remember when I said, there are sometimes things are urgent and I just want to go ahead and throw that task in Slack for that team member to be able to access it quickly. So I'll just come to that task and from inside the task or outside, I'll come in here and press copy link. And then I'll be like, Hey, Jeff, can you check out this task or whatever I want to say, bringing note to this task. It will then bring it right and click up. It'll unfurl it so you could see what it actually is. And then when that person clicks on it, it's going to bring them right directly to that task. So again, just a really nice way to create this seamless integration between the two platforms, making team communication even that much easier. So I hope that video was helpful for you and gave you at least one light bulb moment on how you can connect Slack and ClickUp and utilize the amazing ClickUps and integrations that ClickUp has for you. If this video is helpful for you, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel because there are so many other amazing ClickUp tutorials that could really be helpful for you in your ClickUp journey. If you're brand new to ClickUp, we also have a couple different resources for you. Number one, check out DeSilvaLife.com slash freebies. Check out our free resources. Number two, if you're ready to take it up a notch and learn everything that you need to about ClickUp, we have an entire ClickUp course with 70 plus training videos to guide you through learning everything you need to know in order to set up your account. We also have an entire template vault with 40 plus plug and play templates that you can literally revolutionize your entire ClickUp in a day. I'll make sure to drop the links in the description below if you're interested. And with that, thank you so much for watching and supporting our channel. We appreciate every single one of you here and we'll see you next time.